give me a drink. How is it that you, being a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. <laughs> Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself? Whoever drinks from this well will thirst again, but whoever drinks the water that I give will never thirst. It will become in him a well of water, springing up into eternal life. Sir, give me this water that I might neither thirst nor come here to draw. Go and call your husband and come back. I have no husband. You said that well. You have had five husbands, and the man you have now is not your husband. In that you have spoken truth. Sir, I perceive you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain. But you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where we're not to worship. Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither worship on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. The hour is coming and now is when those who worship will worship in spirit and in truth. For such is the Father seeking to worship him. I know Messiah is coming, called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. I who speak to you am he.